and stick welding with the Horny Easy Weld 140 MP. This machine has 120 volt input and 140 amp output. Today we're going to be stick welding on a 8th inch material with a 7014 electrode. The 7014 rod is used for general purpose and it doesn't have a lot of penetration and it's very easy to use. So if you're a beginner and it's very easy to strike it and start your arc without it sticking and it's also a contact rod so you don't have to worry about keeping that stick out from your workpiece and coming in and it fading out or getting snuffed out you can just keep it right against the material and it will continue to weld which makes things a lot easier. Um, before we get started I want to talk about the electrode holder itself. Um, inside of the jaw here there is different grooves. So you can place your electrode in here in multiple different ways depending on what kind of fitting, fitment you're doing, what kind of space that you have to weld in, or just what you like for preference. So there is a groove that is straight across, so you can have it coming straight out of your electrode holder. Then there is an X, so you can have your electrode coming out at an angle, uh, therefore, when you come up and start to weld, then you already have the correct welding angle. This is the one I really like to use, but that's just from preference. Also, you have a groove that comes right out the end, so if you're in a tight area and you can't get to something that you need to, then you can stick it straight out the end of the electrode holder and get into a tight space. So those are just a couple of different areas that you can actually put your electrode in there. Also, don't forget that as soon as your electrode's in here and you contact your material, it is going to arc. So, this is electrically hot right now, so as soon as you touch it to your grounded piece, like I said, it is going to arc and it might freak you out because you're not ready for it. So, every time you're done welding or every time you're getting ready to weld, just make sure you don't put your electrode in there until you're ready to go. So, let's talk about the settings on the machine. Um, Right now, we are going to just focus on the one side over here. Uh, we want to make sure that we are set to stick on our toggle switch, which we are, which is right in the middle. And now, the only um, dial that actually relates to stick welding is your amperage over here on the left side, or on the right side. So we are going to set this to about 8. Since we are using a 332nd rod, uh, we don't have to go super high on our amperage, but uh, 8 should be good. If it's too hot, then we will readjust. So I'm going to put my electrode in here, and we will weld. So let's check out these settings. Closer to 9, 
just to get a better wet in. So the toes of our weld, they're not really actually wetting into the material. So I'm going to, like I said, turn it up and then try it one more time. Thank you. 